Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the topic Pascal's triangle and its properties. Pascal's triangle is named after the French mathematician Blaise Pascal who described this in 1653. Even though many other mathematicians from India, Persia, China, Germany and Italy discovered this structure centuries before him. The Pascal's triangle is defined as a triangular array of binomial coefficients. The first row is the zeroth row represented as n is equal to 0 which has a unique entry of 1. The subsequent terms in each row of the triangle are obtained as the sum of the adjacent entries directly above it. In the nth row the first entry is in the zeroth column, the second entry is in the first column and the last entry is in the nth column. Next we are going to discuss about the properties of Pascal's triangle. The first one is bilateral symmetry. A vertical line drawn through the middle of the Pascal's triangle divides the triangle into two identical halves like mirror images excluding the entries that fall on the vertical line. The second one is natural numbers. The second diagonal of the Pascal's triangle represent the natural numbers commonly known as the counting numbers. Since the structure follows bilateral symmetry, the second diagonal from the left side and the right side represent the natural numbers. Next is triangular numbers. A triangular number is a figurative number which represent the number of dots that can be uniformly arranged in an equilateral triangle. The sequence is 1, 3, 6 and so on. The general formula of the sequence is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 where n belongs to natural numbers. That is the nth triangular number is the sum of the first n natural numbers. These numbers are found on the third diagonal of the Pascal's triangle symmetrically. Next is tetrahedral numbers. A tetrahedral number is a figurative number which represent the number of dots that can be uniformly arranged in a regular tetrahedron. A triangular base pyramid. The sequence is 1, 4, 10 and so on. The general formula of the sequence is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 whole divided by 6 where n belongs to natural numbers. These numbers are found on the fourth diagonal of the Pascal's triangle symmetrically. Pentatop numbers. A pentatop number is a figurative number which represents the number of dots that can be uniformly arranged to form a pentatop which is a four dimensional analog of a solid tetrahedron. The sequence is 1, 5, 15 and so on. The general formula of the sequence is n plus 3 into tn divided by 4 which is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 divided by 24 where tn is the nth tetrahedral number and n belongs to natural number. Again these numbers are found on the fifth diagonal of the Pascal's triangle from the left side and the right side. Hexagonal numbers. A hexagonal number is a figurative number which represent the number of dots that can be uniformly arranged in a regular hexagon. The sequence is 1, 6, 15 and so on. The general formula of the sequence is n into 2n minus 1 where n belongs to natural numbers. These numbers are found on the third diagonal of the Pascal's triangle in alternate positions symmetrically. Powers of 2. The sum of the entries in each row is a power of 2. For example, the sum of entries in 0th row is 1 which is equal to 2 raised to 0. Similarly, in the first row the sum of entries is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 which is equal to 2 raised to 1. That is the sum of entries in the nth row is equal to 2 raised to n where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. And hence sum forms the sequence 1, 2, 4, 8 and so on. Exponential form of 11. The entries in each row represent the powers of 11. 
for example consider 11 raised to 0 which is equal to 1 which is the entry of the 0th row of the Pascal's triangle. Again consider 11 raised to 1 that is equal to 11 which are the entries of the first row of the Pascal's triangle. This pattern is used to obtain the powers of 11 till the 4th power. Subsequent powers of 11 are obtained from the Pascal's triangle in a slightly different manner by carrying over if an entry is not a single digit number. For example, to obtain 11 raised to 5, we take the first entry of the fifth row which is 1, then we take the sum of the next two digits that is 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. Again, we take the sum of the next two digits that is 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 and the rest of digits are taken as it is in that order that is 0, 5, 1. Thus, we obtain 11 raised to 5 is equal to 1, 6, 1, 0, 5, 1. This pattern is illustrated here. Similarly, 11 raised to 6 is obtained from the 6th row in the following manner as illustrated below. The rest of the powers of 11 are obtained by following this pattern. Next is binomial coefficients. The binomial coefficients in the expansion of a binomial equation in two variables say x and y are obtained directly from the Pascal's triangle. For example, x plus y the whole raised to 0 which is equal to 1 is the entry of the 0th row. x plus y the whole raised to 1 is equal to 1x plus 1y. Here the coefficients of x and y which is 1 and 1 are the entries of first row and the rest of the expansions follow this pattern. Therefore, the binomial coefficients in the expansion of two variables say x and y raised to a power n as obtained as the entries of the nth row of the Pascal's triangle. Next is probability. The Pascal's triangle represents the ways in which heads and tails combine when coins are tossed thus giving the odds of any combination. For example, consider the case of the experiment as the number of heads obtained as the outcome. When a coin is tossed, there are two outcomes, either a head or a tail. This is represented by the entries of the first row which add up to 2. Thus, giving 1 by 2 as the probability for no head and 1 by 2 as the probability for one head. When two coins are tossed simultaneously or when a coin is tossed twice, there are four outcomes which are two heads, a head and a tail, a tail and a head or two tails. Thus, two heads combine in one way and a head and a tail combine together in two ways and two tails can combine together in one way. This is represented by the entries of the second row which add up to 4. Thus, giving 1 by 4 as the probability for two heads, 1 by 2 as the probability for the combination of a head and a tail and 1 by 4 as the probability for two tails. Thus, the number of combinations of head and tails are obtained from the row corresponding to the number of tosses of the coin. The last one is combinations. Combination is the selection of R objects that can be formed out of n total objects in which the order is not important. The general formula is ncr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. Each entry in the Pascal's triangle follows this formula where n is the row number and r is the column number as given below. Thus, we can obtain the ways in which selections can be formed out of a total number of n things from the entries of the nth row. Hope you have learned about Pascal's triangle and its properties. Thank you.